Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Deloop and welcome back to my Factorio Megabase, which is a work in progress. Last episode we were starting to set up science and I kind of ran out of time and I was kind of throwing this together. I did find a better build online and I have a picture and I'm going to go ahead and throw it up on the screen right now. And this um, has been, this I found on Reddit, I forget the user's name, I'm trying to remember it. Uh, I'm not going to leave this up, but I do have it on my second monitor for you guys, and I can go ahead and build that. So if you guys want to see that, is the picture, and I'm going to kind of replicate it, and I realize that I'm kind of set up to do that really nicely here, just because I have the gears already lined up, and these machines, if you see it, these machines are kind of spaced exactly the same and that's kind of what I look for when I'm trying to find a better build for things is stuff that's already similar to mine stuff that already has buffer boxes in mind which most people do because you know they later get upgraded to provider chests so I'm gonna go ahead and build that a um, design here and it uses one two three four five six machines so I'm going to go ahead and break this down right I don't need it and I'm gonna leave these I think these are even spaced correctly if I'm not mistaken nope they're a little bit close or too far uh, they only got one line running down the middle so it's one inserter a line an inserter and that'll go there right yep so that's how they have it set up and they got these kind of broken up a bit let's remove this right and I don't know if you guys enjoy me doing this um, this isn't so much as a tutorial series um, and it's not so much of me coming up with my own ideas all the time I kind of threw stuff together like that circuit build I threw it together and then realized there's probably a much better way to do it and I think that's just kind of how Factorio is if you guys would like to see me more experimenting and trying to figure it out myself let me know uh, I do not want to use I do want to use some original ideas especially if that's what you guys want to see um, so let me know if you guys have a problem with the way that I'm doing this as of now uh, whether you like me using other people's builds and uh, trying it myself and then upgrading it or if you just kind of want to see me roll with whatever I got right and so just yeah leave a comment it helps out a ton I just really want to know what you guys want to see so that's where the the uh, machines are gonna be right here and the bottom of the machine is gonna be lined up with I'm trying to space everything out here yeah and that's perfect actually this is gonna be the bottom machine so then I need to bring them up and it's got six so one two three four five and six is up here of course I'm running into trees again right so these are all gonna be gears and it's kinda of the same setup the inserters are at the top even that's kinda of cool and how it has it and this is what I like about it it's got the iron coming down here and it can merge directly with the gear wheels like that and then the, the gear wheels come out here and they come out on the side of the belt so it's like what I was trying to do but ten times better because input output a lot easier to see a lot better and then this belt would come up here like so and that's going to be the output for the, the gear wheels and then what it's got going is it's got copper coming down right next to the iron here and it's got the copper coming into an underground belt like so and it kind of turns right and I'm trying to figure this out here my picture isn't quite big enough let me uh, make this full screen Oh, I just turned on a slideshow. I don't know what that did to my recording, but oh well. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit. Oh, I see. Okay, I see. So they've got the... Oh, there we are. They've got a splitter right here, and then the splitter comes out like this. And this is going to be gear wheels. So the splitter... Just is like that 
I'm gonna need more of these splitters. Let's make a couple. I'm probably gonna need more belt pretty soon here too. Then um, there is a splitter here that comes with gear wheels and iron and it goes up here and this is an output for the inserters like so oh and I'm, I'm seeing this too okay so the then it's got a belt that comes here and it goes down by one just like that right and I think I got it from here I don't need this picture as much now I'll, I'll piece it together from here sweet a lot quicker and I got those splitters so this splitter goes here and these are all gear wheels gear wheels this is gonna be the basic transport belt these are gonna run all the way along here so let's kind of run down this real quick so we've got the iron and gears coming down here we got gears and copper coming down on this belt and the reason because uh, copper is coming down on this line it merges into this belt with gears before the gears merge with the iron then the copper I can route into the um, science right so so red science takes copper and gear wheels and then what I have here is I have inserters which I can't set up yet because I need better assembly machines popping in here and then belt popping onto here and the way this is set up too is I can grab let me grab some inserters I'm gonna need them let's see I've got it coming out here so I can set up an inserter and I'm gonna downgrade this later and I can set up Oh, there are my inserters a box and that's gonna box up the inserters same thing goes for the belt I can box up the belt here and then I would still have buffer boxes in between each of these you know to upgrade them and I can leave those there right and this it's kind of this designs not finished either the picture that I was looking at it doesn't look like it's completely finished but the whole picture I, I kinda cropped it the whole picture was from uh, a campaign mission so maybe they didn't they finished campaign before they finished upgrading it alright so these are gonna be belt transport belt and stuff right let's see how is this gonna line up so if I turn these this way the iron and copper is gonna be on bottom turn it this way turn it this way this is gonna be perfect I like it alright so let's bring these just like this and I'll bring it up to about there let's fix that I'm gonna need more transport belt and this is just gonna be right into there and I'm not gonna do this one yet because we don't have this set up yet so the input is two is long-handed inserter so let's make a couple of those no the inputs fast inserters but uh, the outputs long-handed so the fast inserter goes here and here for this one that's odd oh okay I see because that needs oh so that that makes inserters which needs electric circuits iron gear wheels and iron plates and it brings the circuits right along here and so it's right above so that's the input for circuits and they run right alongside all this stuff too Dude, this is a cool build I'm liking it there we go so circuits are gonna come here iron copper here I need more belt let's grab some ions and no I'm good and craft a shit ton of belts now <laughs> this is going to be good very good alright then the output for this one it just outputs straight onto this belt the output for this one outputs onto the belt here with long handed inserters so it goes to the other one. I don't know why this has two outputs. So it needs 
A belt need it takes five seconds to craft, but the inserters take five. Yeah, I don't know why there's two set up for that. It's not a big deal. I could probably set up two for this one too if I need it. Oh no, okay, I see. It's because it's long-ended inserters. This is a fast inserter, so those will be actually balanced and evened. All right, so I have my belt. Let's turn on the gears first. So let's uh, worry about this one. Get rid of that freaking tree out of my way. All right, I'm actually going to close out this image so I can see how long I've been recording. And I kind of like that idea that I can throw up an image on screen to show you guys. This is what I'm building today. Where do I? Oh, I have my main bus down here. Well, let's take a chunk off here. There we are. So we have iron hooked up. And then the copper can come down here. This is like the messiest base I've ever made. I don't know why I made it so freaking huge. I didn't actually come up with the name of the series until after I had finished it like the first five episodes. And I found it fitting because... Oh, oh, nope. Down. No, 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 that's bad, bad, bad. Stop it. Don't get down there. There we go. Nope, stay off the belt, please. There you are. Uh, I came up with the name for the series Mega Base and the goal to make a Mega Base afterwards because I just realized how big the smelting setup was and that I'm. It's going to be a Mega Base. It, that's it now, right? And the cool thing is, I'm, because I have it so spaced out, it's all expandable. So much for using this space up here. I, I kind of put my gear factory there. Alright, so we got copper coming down. Uh, let's turn on these machines. I don't have my picture. Because, okay, so these take gear wheels. So they take two iron plate per output. So I'd have two and then one. One, two. Or let's place the uh, power poles, see where these are going to line up. There we are. So I don't want anything on. I'll do this. Two, 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 and then one, one on the center each. Right? There we are. And then all these need power. Uh, and to do that, to hook up the power, all I have to do is just run a line over here, maybe. This is like a lot of trees that are bugging me here. Let's put it here and there. All right now that has power and gears are flowing. All right, and technically I can turn on red science, so let's go ahead and do that. How do I want to hook this up? Do I want fast inserters? Why not? Let's build some fast inserters. So, hmm. So red science takes one copper and one. Ew. How do I want this? Let's see. Mm. Did I have that picture up still? Let me find that picture. There it is. Do they have the si their science machines in? Maybe they do. Perfect. So they, it looks like they're using. For their science setup, they have it set up slightly different. It's... I can't even see very well. And I might leave it up, set up slightly different. They got a... They got a... Oh! Huh! That's kind of interesting, too, how they got that going. And actually, I'm going to probably have to switch that way. I didn't leave myself enough room. Alright, let's work on it. Alright. So, I'm going to move the green science down just by one. Let's take these, and I'm just going to put them right here. Oop. That was a mistake, too. I don't know why I did this. This is way wrong. Get the heck out of my face <clears throat> so this is going to be the science 
And this works out too because then it comes down. Oh, sweet. I don't know who this guy is. I'm going to have to give you guys the guy's username next episode. I totally forgot to grab it. So the way they have this is they have the inserters. And I'm going to need some long ones for the outputs. Uh, let's see. If I want one per and I have 20, I'm going to need 20 fast inserters and 20 long inserters. All right, let's get the fast inserters going. So they are inputting straight in. And again, actually, let's set up my uh, power lines first. So I can see where things can go and can't go from the power. All right, so these would go in, in. Okay, so in the center. Like I had it. And then the fast in, or the long handed inserters would come out like so. And they'll output onto this side of the belt. These ones would output to the other side of the belt. Green science. Alright, um, let's hook up these power lines real quick. I can just take a line off of. And this is a redundant power pull, I don't need it. Take a line off here, like that. And now I should be cranking out science. Well, not fully yet because I don't have the output. Set this here, 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 and here, and here. So that put gives me science. And now all I need to do is run a belt that comes straight down. And that's going to be a little too close. Let's just do it like so. And it just... Oop, that's way too close. Don't go down. I'm going to end up with a bunch of science packs in my inventory. And these will just come down here. Same thing with the... That's going to be the other science types. Right? Right. So for now, all I want is the inputs. I don't care about the other ones because the other science packs are going to need red inserters and that's going to be a while before I have them. So those are the inputs for that side. I never finished building the, the science labs for the other side. And I need what? I had 10 on each side. I need 8 more. One, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alrighty. Let's turn these science labs on so I can just start researching. And I guess the best way to do it is to run power pulls like this. Perfect. And those should be turned on. Well, almost. Let's stick a power pole, say, here. No, right here. Bam. They're turned on. And now all I need to do is research something. So let's get electronics. Uh, and the reason I'm researching electronics is so I can get the better in um, better labs. Uh oh, we're getting attacked. One turrets are engaged with the enemy. Look, that turret that I posted was good, good spot. And I can't see the map, but it's over here and fighting the enemy. And these ones are going to start really hounding us soon. They already, if I if I get much closer than that turret, they, they're going to start attacking. And look how fast Electronics is researching. It's going to go even faster once these labs are finished. Alright. <clears throat> so, that's all set up and good. Let's uh, get some power poles. Oh, and of course the labs have to finish first. Electronics finish. Automation 2, research. Let's stop the labs. And I'll remember to put them back. I'm actually going to do that now. Lab retories 5, 1, 2, 3. Because I need the poles right now. Because I'm going to turn this on. That's good for now. And then the line can come here. And that's going to start cranking out transport belt. Now what's going to happen is it'll only give me more transport belt if this line gets full of transport belt. And it is a long line. Uh, let's start running this down, actually. Oh, of 
course I need more. Oh, look, I need more transport bill. Let's grab some. And then this is just going to come straight down like this. And I need more transport belt. Let's grab some. And look, Automation 2 is our circuit network. What? This is a cool little design. I didn't... Earth Combinator? What the heck is this? Decider Combinator? Constant Combinator? I don't know what these are. This is a new tech that I haven't seen before. It's been a while since I've played, so I'm going to have to figure out what those are. It's about time to wrap up this episode, though. What else do I want to research in the meantime? Tool belt takes green science. What do we got for red science? Optics. Lights. Why not? Those will come in handy. Sure, it's kind of dark on YouTube. We've got better armor. Heavy armor, which takes steel plates. We'll research that next, I think. And in the meantime, um, next between episodes, what I'm going to go ahead and do is craft up these, finish crafting these science labs, hook up the science all the way. I'm going to run circuits down here, and basically, uh, I'm going to get green science running. Uh, let me run you through what I'm going to do. So the green science, as you guys know, the inserter is just going to hop on this belt next to these uh, transport belts. So the inserters would be crafted here. Now the only issue is I need one of these better laboratories um, because inserters take three ingredients and all I have to do is run a belt up here that hooks up to the circuits and of course my my main line is still right here for iron and where's the end of the main line for the copper Ooh, did I use it yes I did I didn't split off the copper I don't want to handle this um Let's do this. Splitter right here. And that's the main line. Alright, so they're, they, I can still run off of them if needed. Sweet. Alright, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to leave a like and your comments whether you want to me to be doing the designs where I kind of look up pictures if I can't quite figure out a good way to make it work. Um... Next episode, I'm going to have the green science up and running. I'm not entirely sure what the plan is next time. I think we're going to start researching trains and start looking for an outpost because I'm not sure how these iron these patches are doing. Uh, I haven't fully tapped them. Maybe next episode I'll start fully tapping them. We're going to start seeing a drain on our, our system here. So we're going to start using more and more and more. Uh, but next, uh, that's all for next episode, guys. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye.